Hey guys, it's Jimbo again. Two videos in one day. I'm on a roll, I guess. So, um, we got this uh, CS590 carburetor, and I'm going to show you how to remove the limiter caps off of this carburetor. For anybody out there who wants to have these saws properly adjusted, or somebody who's servicing with the carburetor on one of these, and the limiters are in the way of a proper carburetor adjustment. It's fairly simple to do, and really all you need are two wood screws and a flathead screwdriver. And it's fair, they're fairly simple to take off. Uh, this is not the carburetor off my CS590. This is one that I got earlier today. And it's pretty, like I said, pretty simple. So I'm going to set the camera down and show you how it's done. All right, guys. So. Firstly, what you do is you take your wood screws and you ever so gently screw them into the limiter cap like so until they have a good hold into the cap. And you want to do the same thing for the other one. Just do that until it locks in. And it should look something like this. Alright, so now is when you're going to take your flathead, not your flathead, your Phillips head screwdriver and you're just going to individually turn them in like this then you go back and back to the one on the, on the on the right and you turn it like that and you just want to go back and forth like that until this small little metal cover right here this one right here just below the limiter caps and the screws that's going to come off too that's normal so you just want to turn them back and forth evenly. And there we go, it's coming out. All right. And there we go. Just pops off like so. And here are the screws underneath. That's how those look. And now those screws will turn freely without these limiter caps on. And now you're left with these three pieces. We have the metal piece that was just above where the adjustment screws were. And then we have the actual limiter caps themselves. And as you can see, they have some these tabs on them right here. And that's what stops the movement when you turn these caps a little too far on the carburetor. Now, what I'm going to do is what most folks will do. I'm going to shave off those tabs so I can put them back on the carburetor over here because like many other people who run these Echoes will tell you these caps do make the screws a bit easier to find when you're adjusting the saw while it's running and when you're done shaving them they'll look a little something like this you don't need that little piece right there I don't know if you can put it back on but from what I've seen here on YouTube nobody really does and it doesn't really take much to put them back on. You just bloop and Oop, wrong way <laughs> and bloop and there you go. You have successfully corrected the limiters on your echo chainsaw carburetor. Uh, this will apply to every echo chainsaw nowadays especially since just about all of them have these uh, limiters on them and uh, I don't know about Echo's other equipment but this is primarily for the chainsaws that they are making nowadays hope this video helped guys thank you all for watching and have yourselves a good one see you guys Friday for the 300 plus subs commemoration video